Hey guys, GM Pokey back here with another video. So uh, I'm gonna be opening a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box. Now I've done a ton of these boxes in the past. You can see we usually have them in the background. I think they make wonderful art. Um, but I've already done all the contents many times. So if you're looking for the contents of them, please find one of my first videos I did because I've covered it so many times that I'm just not going to do it again today. So again, um, new video. We got my mug on this week. If you want me to get rid of it, just let me know in the comments. Uh, we're gonna do a little pack magic get the packs to drop and I'll be right back. Watch this, here we go and... All right guys, welcome back. We got our packs out, let's get through what we got. Um, we have got the Lucario V-Star card. This is the promo card in every single one. They look pretty clean. Um, if you wanna let me know if I got PSA 10, I don't think so. Left to right looks off. I feel like I'm better at looking at it. Again, I still am too lazy to actually go figure out if uh, there's a certain allowance. I did download an app which you probably talked about, or I've probably talked about another one. It's called the AGS. Uh, it does an instant scan. You do it on your phone. I am waiting to check that out. Maybe one of these times I'll do it, but I use my phone uh, and my other phone to film, so I can't do it while I'm recording. But I will do my best to kind of get it down. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if you know the PSA standard, whether it's uh, 55, 65, or that would be a really weird card, 55, 45, or whatnot. But let's get into the pack opening. So this is Crown Zenith Box. If you haven't seen this, I've done a lot of these videos. I'm sure there's a bunch out there. Some little fun facts is that these little cards don't give away if you have a hit or not, so that makes it way better because I don't have to worry about it. Now, I put my energy card there, not in the front, because I like to do what we call the peak, and you'll see what that is in a second. If you're welcoming yourself to my channel for the first time, uh, feel free to subscribe so you can stick around. Then you can stay overnight here. You can watch all the videos you want, and boom, there's our energy card. We like to do what I call the peak to see if it's gallery or not, and it is not a gallery. We've got a uh, Shinx, and do we have a hit? Looks like there's a hit back there. Well, that's not bad. It's like a V. So at least we started out with a V card. Um, we had a phenomenal box. I don't really want to, I don't want to tell you what's in it, but I will tell you that uh, probably around this time or with this in the background, I can tell you that there is a phenomenal hit that we just hit on the last one. I'm not going to share with you. You have to go back and look, but uh, great. And then there's, um, there's another box we hit just yesterday with like, it, it, it is the best card in the set by far far uh so check out some of the other videos there's some pretty pretty hot hits in those things um and then let me know if they're uh if they're centered or not um you know if they're centered want to send them off to psa two three four uh we're getting it's cold where i'm at but uh we're getting pretty close to spring right it's not that far away you guys have spring break plans are you gonna go do something fun uh you're gonna take a trip you're gonna stay in all right a little rock rough howling at the moon so now we get to this point, I call this my peak. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person doing this. I hope I didn't take it from someone just unconsciously, but let's see what the peak does. Eh, well, it is, it, it, I'm trying to think what the first card of this set is. It's number nine, uh, and it's a rare. Is Spinnaker the first card, or is Tortwig? What, what is, is this, it's not a Venusaur, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I make. I got excited. I mean, we got a Venusaur. I, I don't think I've seen a Venusaur in this set yet. And then, is there a hit behind it? There's not. We got a standard. So, not bad. We got a reverse hollow rare. So that makes me pretty excited. Uh, I always say that these are probably some of the best boxes. Man, I would I would just go pick up a lot of them if if I could. But they're not in stock anywhere. And they are. I'm getting such great hits. I, I think it's just it's the 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 excitement over it being a new set with some pretty awesome cards uh they still have some value i use price charting to look it up i know there's tcg player and other ones out there uh, but man they've got uh phenomenal returns if you're looking at dumping the cards if you're looking at collecting them they're a beautiful set of cards if you're going to slap them in a binder um and i have a couple of the top ones um and again i don't want to ruin the art if you're watching their videos but they're they're good hits I, I would go watch those videos and see if you can see what they are um and I won't be keeping them. They'll be getting graded and slapped up onto our eBay store. All right, there we go. See the peak works. I'm telling you guys, you gotta hit the peak. I'm gonna quickly check and see what it is. No, uh, no, 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 no. All right, we we have quite a few of these. Anyone know? Anyone figure out what it is? It is the Maureep. 
So it's the Marip card. Centering looks pretty good. I don't think I have one of these. Maybe watch the videos. Let me know. Um, I think I I have all these in pretty good condition. Now, is I get some double bangers with the reefs. Is this a double banger? Or no, it is not. But that's okay. I'm still going to slap it in a little bit of plastic here. Throw it in the sleeve. Keep it looking nice. Don't want that big hollow surface to get scratched up. And then let's keep moving. If you have your own channel that you like to do these kind of things, anything Pokemon related, whether you're whether you're streaming yourself playing, uh, whether you're doing openings, whether you're doing collections, and you want to get a little exposure, feel free. I have no problem. Not going to delete the comments. Put put a comment with your channel down below. I'll check it out. Uh, as long as you have appropriate content, I will subscribe to you, and maybe do the same for me. Hit me back with a subscribe. Let's build a little community so I can watch what you're doing. You can see what I'm doing, and let's just keep this going. Hopefully, if I've encouraged maybe you guys, all you got to do is set up your phone on a little tripod, and um, you can share the experience. I find this a lot more fun and exciting if we can get this shared. All right, we got the Pokey Peak here going on. We got. I need a name for that. Besides the peak, you guys, is it, is it GM Peak, GM Pokey Peak? Uh, I don't know. You you guys hit me up with a comment in the in the thing. Let me know if you uh, and it's going to be a non comment if. if if we come up with a great term, maybe I'll send that person a pack of cards. How about that? Is that is that a deal? If we if we get a get one that everyone agrees we should use, and then obviously you guys reply. Don't don't keep anything negative going on. But uh, if we can pick up a name for that peak, besides just the peak, uh, I'll send out a pack of cards to that person. And we have the signature, and I and I think I think I have this trainer in uh, the secret. I think I pulled one of those. If you watch other videos, I think I've a secret of him or just maybe the full art i'm not sure i don't know i know that name looks really familiar to me let's keep it going so far uh you know it's kind of been a dud box we do have at least one yeah yeah we have one gallery card uh we have one standard v one of the signatures i was really hoping those would become more popular i would really like to see them do something with a, a signature line um you know, like sports cards where uh, they have uh, limited numbers. What do you think? Would would you would you like that if they had a limited number set where it's like number one out of 500 or one out of one or whatever it might be? Um, for collectability, it's a pretty nice idea. I don't know if they're if they're up for it or why it has never happened. You know, sports cards have been doing it for quite some time. I remember collecting when I was younger and it's really trying to chase down those, those uh, serialized cards. All right, so what do we have? This is the peak. And it is not what we're looking for. It is going to be a pinch or chin. Did I get that right? And is there a hit back there? No, it's a Snorlax. But that was pretty cool. Kind of looks like a beanbag. Beanbag with head and arms, right? Um, fan of Snorlaxes. If you play the um, Pokemon Go game, he's a beast, right? When you power him all the way up, uh, throw Psychic move on his first attack. Uh, pretty cool. Then all those fighting type Pokemon that tried to take them out of the gym from lower levels, you just stomp them. Just ultimately stomp them. So yeah, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Snorlaxes. Um, pretty good collection uh, in the personal collection of Snorlax cards. What is your favorite Pokemon? Might be, uh, throw me a comment, let me know. What is your favorite? Is it, oh, I, I think that should have been a hollow. Uh, meaning, if that car was a hollow, it would look pretty cool. Just the colors would, would be really trippy. Um, which favorite Pokemon? Throw in the comments. Let's let's see. Is it the you know is it the big ones? It's one of the main ones. You know, is it Charizard, Lugia? And we do our little Pokey Peak here. And look at that. We got another. We did this on the last box. Let's go back. I think we get one. Is there? Is this a double banger? Oh, right. There we go. We got a V Star. Pretty common V Star. Nothing too great about that one. Nice looking card. It is pretty well centered though. So I, I'm gonna take it. It's pretty nice. Um, let's get these things polyed up. Uh, this way we don't let them get wrecked. What do you guys think? I think it's off. Right? There's a little bit too much blue on the one side. That's better without glare. Um, but yeah, we got at least we got a V star. It's crazy to see energy cards, or at least these ones, and it's an unnumbered one. I think there was one I pulled that had numbered uh, from the card set, so it was actually part of the card set. Maybe that was one. One of them had a, a pretty good return on it, I thought, when I looked at the, uh, I was using price charting, which is up on the side, on the computer off to the side in here. And what do you think, what do you think we should have back there? What would be a cool graphic? That's one of my... One of my other businesses, we order uh, graphics for people and stuff like that. So would it be cool to uh, to have a specific, maybe put your favorite Charizard back there? What do you think we should have back there? Should we have our Pokey logo? Should we have a bunch of cards? Should we just get a big solid white one to drop back there and run 
graphics the whole time. What do you what do you guys think? We could run McDonald's ads or something? No, we can't do that. They went they went sponsor the channel. All right. What do we got? Okay, it's time for the Pokey Peak here. And it is still not great hits. We got a Graveler. There could be a hit behind there. It no. Again, just a rare. So we got the Graveler. It's a uh, I think it's an uncommon. Three packs left. So I switched to this left to right because for some reason it's been working. I used to go top to bottom. Like we go across top, you know, middle left, right, middle left, right. And uh, it worked really well. I had just great luck. A little bit of superstition there, right? And then I had a dud box. So I think on the next video I'll probably be switching from right to left because my hits came in the middle. And I like to kind of see if we can get them at the end. But uh, I have a feeling we're, we're maybe just going to hit some standard Vs. And... Um, that's going to kind of be this, sorry, that one goes there. Just some standard Vs this time, and, and you know, we got pretty lucky. You had a Radiant Charizard already uh, uh, on today's openings with the stuff we had. So we had a Mew. Uh, we have an even a really nice card I want to wreck for you if you're watching the videos. What do we got? All right, there we go. We got a gallery, and it's a Silver Border Gallery. Do you know what that one is? I'm going to actually look it up so i have the information and while you're trying to guess what it is are you faster than me can you pull it up are you ready to go before i can get it up it looks like it's gonna go for nice 17 dollars 90 if i don't get it great and just put it up for auction psa 9 is only at 34 and a half but it looks like they're selling um not not a huge volume yet so the price is going to fluctuate 125 at a psa 10 and look at that Illumian. Pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. And it's a water type. That's the kind of deck that I like. So uh, what kind of moves does it have? Uh, oh, wow. You can search your deck for a supporter card. All right. Not too bad. Pretty okay. Uh, when you use the Aqua Return, you got to shuffle them and all the attach back in your deck. So it's not going to stay out there very long. Maybe it's just a card to collect. But look at the colors. That is... That's a pretty nice card. We'll, we'll throw that one in a, in a holder to make sure it stays safe. And a not hit behind it. So, again, this has been a, a pretty shallow box. It's not very deep with hits. But, um, you know, we, we got a nice hit. And I think the centering looks good. You guys, um, we're looking. Someone's going to eventually fall on this channel once they help me out. And just tell me what the card is. And you tell me what you think the centering is. PSA 9, 10, what is the centering? There's no nicks. There's no nothing on it. It looks like it's a little bit heavy on top. And slightly heavy on the right. So again, uh, if you guys could help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. I got to look down. I don't want to just, just get you on the corner in there. But yeah, so we got. I would say we got one, one pretty good hit. Um, I guess I didn't look up the Zerazora. What do you guys? Do you guys know if that one is that a quality card these days? All right, we are looking at. It's fifty-five, right? Is that the number on there? That's not bad. I guess I guess if it turns out to be a PSA 10, uh, it's got about really low sales numbers, but it hits at about 55. Maybe we should put that in a little bit better protector just to keep it safe in case we decide to submit it. Uh, what's been your, your favorite product so far in the last year? What, what's been the, the one that you've opened that you like the most? Leave me a comment. Let me know what it is. We've got two packs left. We're going to be finishing these up. I'm getting a lot quicker by not making you wait while I get the packs out and put them down and, and you know get my drink of water and do everything else. Uh, it takes a lot of time to get that box opened up and put everything down. Um, I have been able to get these done a lot quicker for you, get you back on your way. Uh, if you make it to the end of the video, give me a hashtag finisher. Uh, or maybe every time we should do... Well, if you make it to the end, we're going to change it up. We're going to go uh, our biggest hit today will be our hashtag. And then I know you made it to the end um, because you know what the biggest hit is. I guess you could still fast forward, but, you know, don't be a cheater like that. All right. Uh, and I think going forward, that might be one of our uh, one of our things. Somewhere inside the video, I will sneak a code word in there to be put in a drawing. Maybe that's what we're going to do. We'll do... We'll do drawings to see who's going to win the free stuff based on putting uh, maybe a couple different passwords in. That would be better. That would make you guys actually watch the content. Okay, let's do our Pokey Peak. And it is a Radiant. Uh, I'm getting better at this game, right? Uh, I don't know who it is. Let's do this. Is it one that I already have like a bunch of and I'm just for always forgetting? Oh, man. Do I... Uh, 51. 
Hold on one second, guys. I apologize. Uh, I usually pull up the whole set, and then that's quicker, but I've just been typing them in each time. Oh, man. Okay, I know who it is. And this one is going to be... Let me just yank it up real quick here. Yeah, it's not a bad card. So pretty cool looking. Uh, it is the Charge Bug. That's kind of cool, Charge Bug. Looks like little little spikes or horns on the front. Uh, let's look and see if this ability is pretty good. I have noticed that the Radiant abilities are pretty stellar, honestly, uh, compared to some of the things that I've been playing with, in like 2006 and seven sets. Um, attaches an energy card from their hand to their Pokemon V. Well, that's, I like that, but I don't like the whenever any player, I don't want someone else to be spanking me because they uh, are using my card's ability, but it's, it's not bad, right? You can't use more than one Radiant per deck, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then does 30 damage to one of your, so the nice thing about the attack is if someone tries to hide on the bench with their player, you can keep smacking them from far away. And then if you attach energy, so I guess that's not bad. And when you kind of combine the two, you could attach some energy to your person uh, and put some damage counters on. All right, let's see. I think there's a hit behind there. Let's see what that is before we go. And what do you think about the centering? Are we centered? I think we're actually okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Maybe we get uh, get a submission. The problem with this is, you guys, if you're uh, if you're new to this information, if I submit this, and I, I figure about 20 bucks, right, to PSA, that is. Uh, if, I, if I spend the 20 bucks to get it there, meaning shipping, packing, uh, get it there, then return, all divided out amongst all the cards we send in. Um, that's 20 bucks. If, if it comes out to be a nine, that's that's the risk you take, right? It's selling for 14 bucks. That's a loss. If I if I can get that, and a lot of people are always looking for a bargain, right? So that's always the risk is do we just pop it online and take a little bit and then not risk the, uh, the big fee? And it is a Glaceon V, which I think is a pretty cool looking card. You guys check that out. You tell me if it's centered while I look it up. And try to tell you um, what we have. I know, I know you like to see, you know, what the value is. Let's find and see if I can find it. Uh, it is a Glay. No, that's not the one. I just pulled up the uh, the V Star. That would be really sweet. Okay, number thirty-eight. Again, it's a three-dollar card. If I get it graded and it works out, it's a forty-six. If it graded and it doesn't, it turns on to fourteen and a big loss. Uh, but I think left to right looks okay. I don't know what the variance is you can have. I love that the eyeballs kind of glow. And is there, oh, that's a line in his, in his artwork. And the back looks really clean to me. To me, it looks like a little heavy from top to bottom. You guys, uh, you know, I'm really relying on you guys to help me out. Give me, give me your feedback. Your personal feedback is, is worth a lot, whether or not you think we can hit it or not. Okay, let's throw that up there. I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit laggy here. How many gallery cards have we hit so far? We hit uh, a regular, right? And we hit, uh, we only got two. And I think last time, I think last time I got three. Now I've hit all the way up to five. And I think things even out in life. So maybe I've been hitting a lot. And again, I've, I've been getting some pretty good pulls. So I can't get too cranky if I don't hit it today. But let's just see where we're at. Um, I'm running out of top loaders for today anyway. So, I mean, that's that's a sign that made... Oh, I forgot totally to throw... Why don't you guys... Why don't you guys give me a phone call? Let me know I need to do that. All right, there we go. We put that up there. I'm not going to spend time with the top loader. We can do it later. Okay, let's keep with the opening. You, you're not here to watch me chat about uh, whatever I'm chatting about. Okay, so here we go. We have got right to the end. These are our last two cards of the box. I've had a great time with you guys today. If I helped you out learning something, if you saw a card you haven't seen, smash the like button for me. Hit the subscribe button if you're willing. Uh, again, our goal is to build that channel and start giving out stuff. Our last one, look at that, gallery number 23. My brain is not retaining the cards. I've seen it so many times already. But there we go. It's a Dunspar, and it looks like if we get it graded and we come out, if you guys think the centering is well enough, we'll send it in. It would be a $49 card. I think this is cool. I think we hit this in the last box. It looks like there's Dunspars all over the place in there. Man, these things shine. They look very cool. Very sweet-looking card. And then if we don't, it's like 15 So that that's the risk I'm looking at trying to figure out. Is there a double banger in the last box? It's a Kyogre. I mean, that's not bad. I'll, I'll look that one up just, just because... Um, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, pound 36. And Kyogre Revert. That's not the Reverse Hollow. 
what's that all about? I, so it's it's going to be very minimal because it's not even on my screen and I'm showing the reverse is 236 or 263. So let's throw the dunce bar in some plastic. Uh, let's do a quick review of what we what we pulled out of this thing today and then we'll get you back on your way. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. So we have the Lucario V-Star. We got uh, some, not a ton of galleries, right? Not a ton. Let's just throw that up there so we put in the box. Okay, so we got a Mareep gallery. We got a Dunspar gallery, so two of them. We got a Radium, which we can get about one per box, which is pretty cool. We did get another uh, gallery, which is actually quite a nice one. That That is pretty sweet. It's a silver border, not the gold border, because it's one of the V cards. We got a shiny... We got a V star. We got two more Vs, not the gallery kind. And we got one of the signature cards. So you guys, thanks for joining me today. Super appreciate it. Uh, sorry I put my face on the screen for you to have to stare today. If you don't enjoy it, let me know. If it's okay, we'll stay up there and I'll keep smiling so you know that I'm paying attention. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.